so first of all uh, you will need to power off your phone and run into the download mode quite simple press the volume down button the home button and the power key together yes here uh, you will receive a warning message just click volume up to continue and then connect the phone to your PC friends let's start straight away with the process uh, so friends uh, you will need to have this two files unzipped yes that is the Odin folder and the TWRP links are in the description and uh, some important points to remember uh, after going into download mode and connecting it with your computer with the help of USB if your phone doesn't detect uh, just make sure you install Samsung Kais disconnect the device then run Samsung Kais Again, connect the device and troubleshoot the connection. So in just two or three successful troubleshoots, your device will be detected in the download mode by your PC. So how to check if, it's, if it is detected? Uh, you just have to open Odin. Uh, and uh, you will see. Okay, you will see this blue mark here. This means your device is connected successfully in the download mode. Now, you don't have to do anything more just click on bootloader here that is the BL short form locate the TWRP unzipped file okay yes let it load yes and make sure you untick this auto report option here and just press on start so it will just take few second or a fraction of seconds yes C0.05 yes you successfully installed TWRP now to check force press the power key for 8 to 10 seconds mobile will power off run into the download mode by pressing the volume up button the home button and the power key so you will run into the TWRP bootloader so friends that way you can check that you successfully installed your TWRP recovery file so friends as I said Press the power key forcefully for 8 to 10 seconds. Yes. So your mobile is power off. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, don't let it reboot or else it would load, in, load into the system. Okay, I'll just again power off. Okay. So run into the recovery mode uh, by pressing. Wait a minute. If this happens, like mine it's happening just make sure to remove the battery and insert it again so it will not uh, restart automatically okay completely ready now we we'll press the volume up button the home button and the power key together yes we are into the recovery mode now you'll see the red exclamation mark here as you can see in the top left corner of your screen and yeah you see successfully you have booted into the TWRP bootloader mode or as the TWRP quite easy right see you have all the options to install the ROM custom ROM